Okay, hopefully you watched the review video of what is correlation, a correlation coefficient, and regression analysis, where basically we want to see in this data set, is there some kind of relationship between the ages and years of six children and the number of words in their vocabulary? So the first thing I want to do is figure out which one of these are the graphs. And you, you could sit here and try to find them, but StatCrunch actually will graph this for you and it'll get, get the answer for the correlation coefficient and all that good stuff. So select here on the side, open in StatCrunch, go to Stat, go to Regression. This is simple, linear and select the x variable, which is age, select the y variable, which is vocabulary size, and then let's make this bigger for right now. And then I don't really care about all this other stuff, um, but just so you know, you could do hypothesis tests to see if there actually is a correlation. You can do prediction intervals, but we're not doing all that. But I would like a graph, so I click the fitted line and I believe that's all I want. All right, so if you're like me and you click this and you go, but hey, where's the graph? Because that's what I did the first time. You have to notice there's this button down here. So if I go over, I can see that now I can see the graph. So it looks like, oops, that was close, right? But that bottom one's not right. You come over here, looks like, looks like, that one's above. Doesn't look like any of those. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would probably have to say the best one is this one because that dot right there is a little bit above that one. So let's try it. Woohoo! Excellent. I was getting a little nervous there. All right, and so and the problem is, is these are spread out. You could click this plus right here, and you could see, zoom in a little bit. All right, so it asked me for my correlation coefficient, so I just go back here, and right there, my correlation coefficient, 0 0.965, rounded, 0 0.965. And remember, as we talked about, if you have a correlation coefficient value that is close to negative one or positive one, that's a very strong correlation, okay, because that's very close to one. In this case, it is positive. Why is it positive? Well, my correlation coefficient is positive. But also, as my X values go up, as age goes up, their vocabulary goes up. So this is definitely a strong, positive, linear correlation.